What does cannabis or getting high do for you? What does it provide you? Does it change your behavior? Does it make you feel better? Does it help you numb the pain? There's all kinds of things that happen to us when we use cannabis. Part two in this series covers a lot of those questions. It also reviews a little bit of the science, if you will, about THC, CBD, and some of the other psychoactive components of cannabis. And I think you'll find it helpful. And it's part two in this series of changing our relationship to cannabis use, of which I was a collaborator in. My name is Mike Stroh. I am a therapist. I am someone who's in long-term recovery from addiction, primarily cannabis, although I was engaged in lots of other substances and other unhealthy behaviors. And I think you will find this uh, video series helpful. And without further ado, I'll get back into part two, what happens when I use cannabis. The two main active components of cannabis are tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, and cannabidiol, CBD. THC is the psychoactive part of cannabis. It's what changes your mood and gives you the high feeling. CBD is not psychoactive. Some evidence suggests it may reduce anxiety and improve sleep. The immediate effects of cannabis are referred to as getting high. This might feel like relaxation, happiness, or the giggles. You might also experience sounds, colors, or other senses more vividly. You could also experience negative effects like anxiety or confusion. Your physical coordination and response time will be lowered, so things like driving are unsafe. You could also experience lowered inhibitions, leading you to act in riskier ways than normal. Cannabis works differently depending on how you take it. When you smoke or vape, you will feel the effects almost immediately, and they will last from one to three hours. When you consume a food or drink that contains cannabis, it might take up to two hours to feel the effects, and up to four hours to feel the full effects. The effects are longer lasting than those of inhaled cannabis, and could last up to 12 hours. I can remember it crystal clear. The first time getting high from cannabis was as if the clouds parted. Shortly after that, because I was so uncomfortable in my normal self, getting high became the solution to all my problems. Addiction quickly set in and I didn't develop emotionally. I didn't develop psychologically or cognitively and my school performance suffered. Many of my relationships suffered. Smoking cannabis can damage your lungs and heart and using cannabis in any form has risks to brain health. Well, there I am in my in the video there giving my little two cents about what happened when I started they cut out the the word God there I think I remember thinking that first moment I felt the sensation of being high was as if the clouds parted and God reached down from the sky and said you have figured it out you are now in my hands you've solved the conundrum of being a human being and if i can feel like this forever i would love it and literally from that moment i was high every second of every day that i possibly could have and within i was 12 when i started within six months to a year i was a daily user from morning till night i was high at school i was high everywhere it didn't matter i had to be high and that was unpleasant. So we'll get back to a little bit more of the, the science here and the physical impacts of cannabis use. You want to ask your question again, what is the weed doing for you? How's it going? It can also have long-term impacts on memory, concentration, and other brain functions. In some cases, cannabis can worsen depression or anxiety. It is also associated with an increased risk of psychosis. Just got to jump in there on the psychosis one. Clearly, for young boys, young men, cannabis is the number one trigger of psychosis. I've covered that on the channel before. And depends on you, depends on your genetics. There's all kinds of reasons why or why not it may impact you. The myth that we need to smash is that weed isn't harmful. Okay, the weed that we are smoking today is genetically modified super weed. It has nothing to do with this plant in the backyard. Okay, it's been bred to get you as high as possible. And the anti-psychotic stuff, the CBD and other things have been bred out of the plant. So this is not some harmless thing, okay? We need to be honest about that. 
Okay, I'll get back to the video. Cannabis can be addictive, and you may experience withdrawal symptoms that make it hard to stop using. To reduce the risk of health problems, it is best to use only small amounts of cannabis and not to use it very often. Shocking news, everybody. <laughs> Don't get high all the time. Manage your use. Be a responsible adult. Obviously, that's the problem for people like us. If you're watching this video, if you're curious or if you're watching it for someone else. So that was just another little brief intro about perhaps the neurological, the chemical side of it, how it impacts us. So I hope you found that useful. Please share this with someone else you think might find it helpful. Like the video, comment on the video, all that good stuff. We'll be back with video number three. How can I use cannabis more safely if that's what you choose to do? Anyhow, take it easy. Peace. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.